Hello. I just wanted to, I know that there's a lot of questions about running shoes, what shoes should I be in. Um, so hopefully this video will help give you guys some knowledge um, and just, yeah, be helpful. I will say I, um, my expertise is running, running shoes. Lauren's going to know a whole lot more about workout and workouts and like specifics of that stuff. But if you're just looking for running, running shoes, um, yeah, this will be helpful, hopefully. Okay, so um, first thing, um, so don't go to like box stores, like um, for workout shoes, running shoes, like DSW shoes or shoe rack, because, um, a running shoe is only made to last 18 months, right? So that foam, that shoe is only going to be lasting 18 months. It's only going to do what it's intended to do for that long. That means if, these are Brooks. So if Brooks had this on the shelf at a few different stores, didn't sell it, um, and then it goes to shoe rack, uh, and it's been 18 months, well, the shoe's pretty much useless at this point. You're, you might as well just get a shoe from Walmart Target because it's going to do the same thing. So, yeah, so don't do not do that. Um, so there are within running companies, um, or well, within shoe companies, there's two companies that I know of that only do running shoes, right? So that's all they specialize in is only quality running shoes. Um, so Brooks and Hoka, um, now other companies are good too. Um, I ran an Adidas for a long time. I ran a Mizuno, um, and then Brooks. Um, so within the bear companies, they all have the three categories of shoes that I'm going to talk about. Um, but then they also have like the budget shoes, um, so you just have to be careful. Um, so when you first, your first pair of shoes should be from like an actual running store because they're only going to carry quality shoes at a running store. Um, and then I, I get my shoes from runningwarehouse.com. Um, but especially like during these times, I should um, start getting them locally. Okay, um, so there's three categories of shoes, um, and it's really all dependent. I know that some people say, oh, I have flat feet, I have high arches, which they can play a role into what category of shoe you need. Um, but most of, the, most of the fitting will come from um, just seeing how your knee aligns over your foot. So when you're running, okay, your ball of your foot, like you see professional runners and such, like their ball of their foot is what hits, right? It almost looks like they're running on their toes because they're not they're not coming down with their um cheese. Heel. Mm, silly. Okay, they're not coming down on their heel, they're going straight to the ball or foot. So Ultimately, everybody goes to the ball of the foot. Even if it's like a heel strike, you're still going to go to the ball of your foot. It's not as effective, or it's effective just going to the ball of the foot first, but nevertheless. Okay, so three categories of shoes depends on how your uh, ball of your foot, what happens between with your knee and getting to the ball of your foot. Okay. So, ideally, when you're coming down, you want to go straight, that, you want that knee straight above your big toe, right? It should be a straight line down from your knee to your big toe, okay? So, a neutral shoe is one that has only one color, right? It's really flexible, and it's going to let you do what your foot naturally wants to do. So... Neutral shoe, your knee 
coming straight down over your big toe, okay? So if your knee comes to the outside like this, that's okay. You're still going to be in a neutral shoe. The reason for that is because it's a little flexible, the neutral shoe, and hopefully it will push that knee right over top, okay? So this is neutral shoe. If you're on the outside a little bit, or if you're just straight, okay? Most people are gonna be in a neutral shoe. So I'm gonna show you what happens if you come in. All right, so some people, right? They're gonna come in like this. So super inefficient, <laughs> but they, there's motion control shoes and there's stability shoes shoes um, that will help correct this, right? So if your knee is going like this, you want it to be corrected, right? You want that knee to go from inside, you want it to be pushed out, you want to be able to get up on that big toe. So that shoe has double the density, right? So I was going like this, this shoe, it's going to make me, my, it's going to push my knee to the line straight, right? Or as straight as possible. But problem with these shoes, if you look at your shoe and on the bottom of your shoe, you look at your shoe and you see two colors. Okay, this is motion control because it goes right here all the way back here. Right, is the whole thing basically a cast for your shoe or your foot? Some is just going to be like this, right? So that's not as much. That's not a motion control. That's a stability. But here's the problem: if I were to wear this shoe, I naturally soup the knee, so I naturally go out a little bit. So I need a really flexible shoe to help push me in. But, so I'm already out here like this, right? And this is supposed to push me, this is going to, right? This is going to push me out even farther, right? This was like this. So this shoe is supposed to push me out, right? But I'm already out here. So it's gonna push me out all the way over here. I'm gonna be on the side of my foot and it's gonna cause a whole lot of issues. Uh, it can cause IT band issues. I've seen people come in with stress fractures because of it. So yeah, so that's the problem. These are good if you are super over pronating. If that knee is coming in a lot, then these. Um, when I sold shoes, rarely would I put someone in this shoe. This is my mom's shoe. I tell her not to wear them, but oh well. Um, so yeah, rarely would I ever put someone in this shoe. Um, you can, so like by strengthening your hips, um, strengthening your legs, um, you can get rid of that super over pronation. Um, but yeah, for some people it's important. Um, so three categories of shoes. Neutral shoe is if you're going straight. So how do you know what, you can look in front of a mirror. Um, so if you're on the outside, you need a flexible neutral shoe. If you're pretty much straight, you need a neutral shoe. If you're coming in just a little bit, probably still a neutral shoe. But if your knee is coming in like really exaggerated, then you might need a little bit extra support. You might need that double density in that shoe, all right? Um, so how do you tell what shoe? So you can always text me a picture of your bottom of your shoe. Make sure it's like a really worn shoe um, because if it's a new shoe, I'm not gonna be able to tell uh, your foot, foot treads. Um, so, yeah. Okay. 
this is a pretty new shoe, so it wasn't a very good choice for me um, to show you. But I supinate. I come on the outside here. So eventually, um, if I wear my this shoe enough, this black out here won't even be there. It will just be that blue because I just supinate. And so I come out. Um, this helps a little bit to correct it, but I uh, mostly come out here. Um, and part of that is I had plantar fasciitis for years um, in order to um, like relieve some of that pressure, I start walking on the outside of my feet. So um, before that I was a neutral, but um, so if you're right here, probably the right shoe that you're in. If your wear is all through this middle, it's probably the right shoe. Um, the, ignore the bottom part here. You don't need to look at that. It's right here that matters. Um, if you are right here, um, that means that you are over pronating, right? So, um, if you're out here, just send a picture. Um, so I know some, so if you are in this shoe, yeah, if you're in this shoe or a shoe like this that has two colors and you see that your wear is right here or straight down the middle, you need to get out of that shoe. Um, I mean, it's not like get out of it right now, but um, yeah, you need to, that's not the right shoe for you because you're being overcorrected. Um, so yeah, a lot of times I'll see people that have this shoe, um, right? It's supposed to correct this way, but it's overcorrecting. So they're walking on the outsides of their feet. No good. All right. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, within the categories of shoes, um, so let's say you're a neutral shoe. All right, where do you go from there? Um, there, every company is going to have a neutral shoe, a high quality neutral running shoe. Um, most companies have multiple neutral running shoes. Like some are softer. Um, uh, like so, for instance, uh, Mizuno. Their cushioning system is a wave plate. They call it wave plate, which is like a plastic plate. So it's a harder shoe. Um, so I wore it. I liked it. Um, Nike Pegasus, that's a popular shoe. It's super um, soft. I did not like that. Um, so it's really just personal preference. Um, yeah. So it should feel really good on your foot. Like you shouldn't feel like little, it should, just, it should feel like a sock on your foot, right? It should feel good. Um, so neutral category, there's a lot of, a lot of options. Um, it's hard right now to like uh, go to a running store. Yeah, it's not possible. Um, but if you need a shoe right now and you know that you're in a neutral category, um, there's so like Brooks Ghost, um, Nike Pegasus, uh, Mizuno Wave Rider. Um, I like the Brooks Launch. Um, I don't know much about Hoka, Hoka um, of like their there's um but lauren knows more um but i could also look it up too um so for sizing your foot your your toe should be right there right um if your toe is banging up against here um uh, your toe toes are going to start curling and that curling is going to put tension on your plantar and then you're going to get plantar fasciitis which is no fun um and yeah, so you just need a little bit of extra room in your shoe. So typically it's like a half size to even a size um, bigger than your everyday um, shoe. Um, so yeah, to summarize, three categories of shoes, neutral shoe, straight down to the outside. Um, the motion control stability shoes are going to be if your foot, uh, if your knee comes in um, and it's coming in um, and it will help correct it out. Um, be really mindful if you have one of these shoes and um, your knee is going straight or if it's going outward on like that uh, outside, like your pinky toe, um, you're being overcorrected and it could lead to some, some injuries. 
Um, but if you have any questions, I would be happy to look at some pictures of worn shoes. Uh, all right. Thanks.